You don't know another nigga so focused Man, I hit the streets and I get that dough shit And you don't know another nigga so clean Every star in his jeans would have walk so mean Yeah, nigga, I walk like a pimp Yeah, nigga, I talk it's with me now, Alpha Male G-O-D 51 Spade. I'm back in this thing for ENT Entertainment. And as y'all can see, the bold three agendas have came out for Dark Matter, John ja Morant. Now, John ja Morant is a good card. But is the grind worth this card? That's... I don't even think it's debatable and for the amount of point guards that's out right now like i mean they just gave us you could you could get penny hardaway off you could get penny hardaway off of the uh, uh, ascension board but now they done put him in for seventy five thousand vc for you could just buy him that's one po good point guard right there you buy the pro pass you get SGA. SGA is gonna run over John Morant just for the simple fact that he's 6'7 and has a better release. So even with that uh, even with that being said, I'm not really sure if these agendas are worth the John Morant, but let's just take a look and see what you have to do to get some of these done. Now in the first, you got uh, uh, Nicholas Claxton pink diamond good center you get 25 blocks with a center over multiple games and you'll receive pink diamond uh nicholas claxton moving on to uh, to the next you get uh jamie jacques jr and uh you make 40 dunks with a small forward over multiple games and then you'll you'll get the jacques jr that's a that's a decent card right there moving on to the next now this is when shit is getting crazy and keep in mind these cars that you're getting is like this is a pink diamond probably for a salary or budget this is a good decent card and for the uh shooting guard small forward position a okay decent card again now this card sucks pink diamond doug collins this card has always sucked but you win 10 triple threat offline or 10 triple threat online game using 376 player and you get Doug Collins. You won't be happy with what Doug Collins can do and he'll just sit in your collection because you're trying to grind for, grind for John Moran. You go to unlimited, you make 53 pointers over multiple unlimited games and you're gonna, you're gonna get a Galaxy Opal Dale Curry. Now that's a good card. I don't know about defensive wise because at this point in time you have so many shooting guards you can't run them at point i mean you can't run them at point is a taller point guard if you're if you're that good at three hunting you would have to see how his sigs are to, just to see if he's even worth having at the point but he's probably going to be a defensive liability more than anything that would be that would be my take on it i honestly think he's going to be a defensive liability um, but hey, if you need them and you want them and you really want to go that way, you might want to run, run a father and son duo. Have at it. Now we have Jalen Williams. Now this is going to be a good card. You score 20 points in a game with uh, a Thunder player 10 times. The only thing I don't like is that score 10 times, man. And this is one of the things that I really do not like about these agendas. Like, they make you grind. Like, they make you punch in the clock and do a full-time job for this. 20 points, not a problem. But, you do you really want to go offline? Well, even online. But, scoring 20 points 10 times? Man, that's time consuming as hell for a John Moran on top of that. Yeah, I don't really know if that's worth it. And moving on to the next, you have 10. You win 10 games using three Amethyst or a higher Grizzly players. And you get a regular badge reward pack. Hooray. <laughs> 2K is a trip, man. Score 40 points in the paint with a point guard eight times. And again, we're back to the eight times. 40 points. And some people can lock in and do it for that, you know. Hey, congratulations if you can. And then, last but not least, you make 30 dunks over multiple multiplayer games. 30 dunks, that's not hard. You can just regularly play the game and receive that. 
and that's not going to be an issue and of course once you do that you get John Moran now is this grind really worth it at this point in stage of the career to get John Morant if you just like John Morant hey do what you got to do but John Morant isn't going to make be a difference maker in if you add him on your team it's not like he's a defensive lockdown he's of course he's going to bring the the dunk animations um the quickness and stuff like that if you just want him on your team by all means go ahead grind do what you can do but if do I feel like this is after I would actually just say hey man go for Glenn Go for Glenn Rice. Un, uh, um, Unlimited is a uh, is less annoying. It is annoying, but it's less annoying. And at this stage in time, you should have a decent decent enough team to get through the unlimited grind to get a dark matter Glenn Rice. Would I take Glenn Rice over John Morant? I would definitely take Glenn Rice over John Morant. That's just my feelings on that. Is a point guard. We have several point guards at this point in time. You have point guards right now. Like I said. Um, I mean, you have your Jalen Greens, you have your K Cunninghams, you have other point guards that would make some Lonzo Ball. You have point guards that would make much a bigger impact than this John Morant, especially at this time of year. There's so many people who have God squads. You know, like me myself, I play myself in. You know, they, those teams that got God squads that you're gonna run into. If you even look at my starting lineup. Look at my lineup, man. I got you, you John. You get John Morant, and you run into my Michael Jordan. Of course, I'm not saying like oh, Michael Jordan is more offensively, but he's gonna clamp. He's you can't pass in the, in the passing lanes, and is I I use him as a defensive just to stop point guards from running up the court, quicker ones, and he can do a chase down hunt at six six. You get what I'm saying? On the flip side of that, SGA, like I said, he's 6'6". So you got two point guards at 6'6". John Moran is like 6'3", 6'4". He's going to be short. I just don't see why that's working. But again, man, like I said, that's just your agenda. That's how you get to your agenda grind, and that's how you would get um john morant so i just wanted to tap in with y'all and uh let y'all know how to do it hey like subscribe hit that notification uh help the channel grow i want to thank everybody for joining me on this journey hey we continue to grind it and we are still on that grind for glenn rice man so i've been streaming so y'all check me out on twitch that's why i be streaming that if not then check me out on the videos and i want to thank everybody for tuning in and help help this channel grow this your boy, 51 Spade for Alpha Male, G-O-D, Entertainment. And until next time, man, peace.